Welcome to this video where I'm going to teach you how to create the simplest clicker game possible. So let's get started. To begin, first add the photo that you want to be clicking. So in this case, I imported my JPEG or PNG, either one works, and it came in as a default. So make sure to change that to a sprite and then click apply to make that change. Now from here, there are two different routes that we can follow. We can create a button and after each click, our counter will increase, or we can create an image with an event trigger. Now I'm gonna go with the image just because the button, there might be a little more extra code if we try to add onto it, such as changing the button image versus it's easier to change just an image. Either way, you need to first create a canvas. You can do that by right clicking, UI, selecting canvas. Whenever you create a canvas, you should always scale it to your screen size. Once my canvas is created, I can then create my UI image. I'm going to call it our bill. And then I'm going to add our bill as the source image. Now I'm gonna change the width and the height to adjust for what our bill looks like. And there we have this. So we're gonna be clicking this. Next, I'm gonna create a text for our counter, UI Text Mesh Pro. This is for the newer versions of Unity in which they import for you some materials that, such as fonts, and this will be a cleaner display. So I'd recommend using TextMesh Pro. The code is gonna be a little bit different, so we're gonna to get to that in a sec. I'm just gonna move our text to the top left corner of the screen. And there we go. I'm gonna make it say, I'm gonna call this our counter so that we can keep track. And then we want our counter to say money, and then we're gonna give it a number. So for now, I'm just gonna use a number sign to signify where that's gonna be. So we are gonna be clicking this dollar bill and we want something to happen. Now this means we need to add an event trigger. An event trigger is gonna be necessary for anything to happen. If we just click an image, it's not gonna do anything. So if we add an event type, we can say that on pointer click, so when we click on it, we want something to happen. And this is where we're gonna add our code. So to do that, we need to write code. Let's right click, create C sharp script. I named mine update money. And here we have it. Now, if you're also using text mesh pro like me, make sure to include this line four. If you're not, then you do not need line four. Now for line eight, I have TMP underscore text money text. If you're not using text mesh pro, you don't need this TMP underscore part. Either way, we're gonna need to keep track of the money we've accumulated. So I'm creating an integer to keep track of that. Now we're gonna have a method called add money. Just make sure it's public. You can call it whatever you want, but it's gonna do the simple thing, just increasing our counter and then changing the text. So our text is gonna say money colon and then whatever number we're at. Now make sure to save this and we can go back. Now I'm gonna add this script to my canvas just so that if we were to create other counters, we are all set. So that just saved. I'm gonna attach my script to my canvas and then I'm gonna tell it what text I want to change. So I'm changing the counter. Now if I go to bill, I can add my method by selecting the object in which my script is attached. So I just attach it to my canvas so I can go to scene canvas. The name of my script was update money and the function was add money. Now, if I play, every single time I click, the money goes up. Now you might wanna just start with a zero so that it doesn't look like it's a number sign. So now, the more I click, it will simply accumulate. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this helped you make the most simple click game possible. If you want this to become a series, and you want me to build off of this and make more elaborate, such as adding different images or different levels and spending my money, make sure to comment and leave a like below.